Hello everyone. Myself Adil Hussain Sheikh, Professor, Oil Department, LJIT, and welcome to the lecture series of Advanced of. As we had discussed in previous lecture regarding direct injection natural gas, this particular introduction session we had discussed basic parameters of the natural gas engine like the preparation the systems and dominant engine cycles. And we had also discussed regarding remix charge regarding sparking pass spark ignition, diesel pilot ignition, and direct injection of natural gas. We had also discussed regarding data pan engines regarding on cycles, in one or cycles, as well as diesel gas. So let us move on further and discuss detail regarding. As we know about stoichiometric mixtures in this particular motorcycles engines, these stoichiometric engines they are using 14 Simon Gem 1 air fuel ratio, and with the air, with the help of air fuel ratio, we can get maximum fuel efficiency regarding motorcycles engines. So, in this particular automatic motorcycle engines, automatic motorcycles engines use a mix near stoichiometrics. As I had told you regarding for Simon Gem 1, air fuel mixtures and are ignited with the spark plug technology. In this particular system, we are using V way catalytic converter as we know about it. And we are also referred to active catalyst reduction NSR and reduce NOx and get better emission control. Ultimately, we can say that we are using V catalytic converter and on selective catalyst reduction reduce emissions like NOx and hydrocarbons in this particular stoichiometric auto cycles engines. Also, we noted that the peak conversion efficiency for NOx and SC in V catalytic converter with natural gas engines is just a strong. And natural, natural gas engines burning a stoichiometric air fuel mixtures are typically calibrated to operate a slightly fish. Means in this line, we can say that the natural gas engines are ignited at the stoichiometric way and their emission controls typically like reach mixtures. Okay, so this is the basic stoichiometric auto cycle engines phenomenon. Further, we can say that. In this particular stoichiometric auto cycle engines, we are using reach burn mixtures. Also, we can say that we are using reach burn engines for phenomenon. Clearly, this stoichiometric auto cycle engines technology. Let us move on further and concern regarding lean burn auto cycle engines. Lean burn auto cycle engines use lean pre mixed air fuel mixture with several options for the Premix means air and fuel pre-mixed before the entering into the combustion chambers and with the help of spark plug or diesel microprylot, the most common options. Because globe plug have also seen limited commercial application. Means in clean but auto cycle engines, we are using spark plug or diesel microprylot systems for ignition purpose. One of the most important benefit of the lean burn cycle engine is their high brake fuel efficiency, and it is up to reach 50 percent in so many cases. Means lean burn auto when we are using lean cycle engines, at that time we can get maximum 50 percent brake thermal efficiency compared to the static auto cycle engines or diesel cycle engines or dual cycles engines. So this is the most important advantage of the lean burn cycles. And in after treatment device, as we know that there are so many after treatment devices like selective catalyst reduction, lean NOx trap, uh, the three way catalytic converters, and EGR also. So, with the help of this after treatment devices, we can also control NOx from the out of the coming out of the engine. So, this is the best advantage of the lean burn auto cycles engines. And we can also say that there are so many. Uh, Pollutant, in particularly exhaust, so we can also 
control this exhaust coming out from the lean motorcycles engines now let us discuss dual fuel mix cycle engines in dual fuel mix cycle engines use a lean mix air fuel mixture remember that in all these cycles we are using pre mixed air fuel system okay and with the help of this few uh, pre mixed air fuel system we can get better fuel efficiency more than 15% okay and with the help of this system we can also uh, use diesel pilot system and with the help of this diesel pilot technology directly affect heat release as well as combustion and this heat release ultimately gives us the maximum combustion efficiency as we know that there is only 3.33% heat using in particularly ic with the help of this optimization we can use more heat utilizing combustion process and after all benefit of this diesel gas engines diesel engines it directly concerned with the this exhaust parameters because when we are using natural gas engines in diesel engines ultimately we can save there are so many things in this particularly exhaust side right directly nox particles sulfur particles and heat particles coming out of the engines ultimately we can uh, reduce emissions and ultimately can generate a uh, zero emission technology device with the help of this the mix cycles engines these are the basic comparison of fuel injection emission combustion and emission control strategy so let us discuss one by one regarding four cycles here i am uh, explaining all the four cycles in one way so you can easily compare it with another cycles so in this first option regarding technology system here you can say that the first one is the technology and in technology first one is the ignition options okay so in particularly stoichiometric auto cycle we are using spark plug why lean one auto cycle we are using spark plug as well as we are using also diesel micro pilot system as well as glow plug systems while in diesel fuel mix cycle system we are using diesel pilot open systems and while diesel cycle only we are using glow plug and diesel pilot system So these are the basic comparison of the system. See here you can see that the, these are the basic comparison of the system. First one is the stoichiometric auto cycle. Second one is the lean one auto cycle. Third one is the dual fuel mix cycles, and fourth one is the diesel cycle. So here you can see that the ignition parameters of this particular four cycles. Like right? in stoichiometric auto cycle, we are using spark plug. In lean one auto cycle, we are using spark plug as well as diesel micro pilot system. In dual fuel mix cycle, we are using diesel pilot or open chamber system. And in diesel cycle, we are using diesel pilot open chamber and glow plug also. And experimentally, we are using some spark plug and pre chamber phenomenon in this particular diesel cycles also. So in terms of ignition system, we can say that almost all the parameters using in lean one auto cycles as well as diesel cycle. now control of engine emissions here second option is the control of engine emission here you can see that control of engine emission and third one is the after treatment option so here we are going to compare these three so you can easily understand and you can easily write down in exams also this stoichiometric auto cycle lean one auto cycle dual fuel mix cycles and diesel cycle there are the four comparison and in this four comparison we are using most probably NOx AFR AFR means air fuel ratios and EGR means exhaust gas respiration systems we are using also crank case ventilated crank case ventilation systems and some diesel engines we are using particular uh, diesel engines only we are using uh, diesel pilot quantity and oil consumption system so with the help of this pm pm means particulate matters and with the reduce this particular matters we are using diesel pilot quantity systems of oil consumption basically engine emission directly controlled by the egr as well as we can say that uh, it has also controlled by the crank case ventilation system there are so many uh, things to do particularly in emission system we are also using crank case ventilation what is crank case crank case ventilation in with the help of this crank case ventilation we are directly eliminate uh vapor 
produced in the combustion chambers with the help of this crankcase ventilation so ultimately uh, this elimination of vapor directly leads uh, our efficiency and reduce the emission control we are also using after treatment option so these are the three after treatment option first one is the three way catalytic converter second one is the selective catalyst reduction okay like we are ns3 and in some cases active regeneration required like means we are using uh, in diesel engines particularly in diesel engines we are using uh, active generation systems okay with the help of this active generation system we are directly reduce particular matter so that the basic comparison of injection ignitions and emission technology using in particularly natural gas engines in further here you can see that there are the primary applications of auto cycle lean motor cycle diesel fuel mix cycles and diesel cycle. why i compare all these things in in one table because you need clearly understand that okay, how can we use this particularly cycles in regarding natural gas and here you can see that there are the primary applications of the particular natural gas engine so stoichiometric auto cycle engines used in medium heavy vehicles by lean one auto cycle engines used in stationary and marine vehicles by diesel fuel mix cycles used in lay, railway and large on road diesel locomotive okay, means the concern of natural gas engines diesel fuel mix cycles directly used in rail and large on road diesel locomotives as well as diesel cycle also used in heavy duty engines stationary engines and marine engines okay another brake thermal efficiency regarding the auto cycle lean one auto cycle diesel fuel cycles and diesel cycles 40% 50% so ultimately we can say that natural gas engine cycles gives us the 50% brake thermal efficiency without whr okay another advantages and challenges of the stoichiometric auto cycles lean one auto cycles and dual fuel mix cycles are here mentioned see advantages there are so many advantages and challenges in particular all four cycles see in exam examiner ask you individual also like and uh, give the advantages and challenges of the stoichiometric auto cycles another time ask is about give the advantages and challenges of the lean one auto cycles so there are basically four departments are here first one is the stoichiometric cycle second one is the lean one cycle third one is the dual fuel cycle and fourth one is the diesel cycle so there are uh, each cycle have its own advantage and its own challenges like concerning regarding auto cycles right can say that the lower emissions than work with cng and lpg regarding the lean one auto cycles we can say that work with cng and lpg and more than 99% diesel substitution with diesel micropilot system in diesel fuel main advantage is the no spark plug and high efficiency and also work with the cng and lpg lng similarly diesel cycles also give us the high power density and knock listen and most important advantage of the diesel cycle is the low ch4 emission similarly there are so many challenges regarding natural gas engines like spark plug life as well as uh, we can say that a diesel operations in some diesel engines and diesel cycle diesel only operations are not possible or we can say that there is a misfire phenomenon or unburnt hydrocarbon so there are so many challenges regarding all four cycles you have to understand regarding all challenges regarding stoichiometric cycles lean one cycles dual diesel fuel mix cycles and diesel cycles so these are the natural gas engine phenomena regarding all four cycles application advantages challenges fluidization strategies ignition phenomena as well as emission systems okay so this is it from the this particular chapters in next chapter we are going to also discuss about some important parameters of the gdi natural gas and just till date stay home and thank you